We present an e-reader prototype for a pen and touch display tablet. It provides a reading experience for knowledge work that is tightly coupled with writing, including annotation, cross-reference notations, and facile collection of encountered information. Flipping through pages driven by touch is a core transaction for reading and browsing through documents. This has a low cognitive barrier, encourages scanning back over recent material, and keeps the user in the flow of the document, while the pen frees the user to quickly interleave annotations. The user can interact directly with the text by framing it at the margin. Within this highlighted frame, the pen offers the precision needed to select individual words and characters. The user can read content side by side with notes. The user swipes across the top bezel to reveal the toolbar and then taps the split view icon. The user can flip the document pages independently of the note pages. Notations are automatically linked to the document page that accompanies them for easy cross-referencing. This is indicated by a blue cone that projects the notation to the source page as soon as the user finishes writing a passage. The user can then later frame a notation to reveal the links back to its source. Tapping this link flips back to the relevant page of the document, and tapping it again brings the user right back to where he's currently working. Animated page flips help make the link traversal salient and unambiguous to the user. Notes about a different page are cross-referenced separately. This makes it extremely easy to work with disparate parts of a document in one working context. Likewise, tapping the Comments button on the document page brings the user to any notations associated with that page. To facilitate lightweight aggregation and informal organization of information, the prototype features several ways to collect and counter content. The user can frame and tear off a piece of a page as a really quick and easy way to collect a specific passage. Dragging it to the center spine pockets it for later use. The pocket serves as a visual clipboard that offers a visually salient but unnamed and uncategorized place to temporarily put things, without breaking the primary workflow of reading and browsing through pages. The user can then pull the clipping out of the pocket at a distant location. The user can then pocket entire pages by initiating a page flip but then extending it deliberately to the center spine. This fluidly integrates collection of pages with the act of navigating pages itself. Multiple items can be left in the pocket to be dealt with sometime later. The user can take a mark and give it a post hoc interpretation as a gesture by touching it. For example, here the user activates a lassoed clipping by touching it, then he pockets it. Touching it again turns the selected mark back into normal ink. Likewise, the user can tap on underlines to highlight specific words, or delete marks that have already been dealt with. The virtue of this approach is that the user can initially focus on reading while marking up a text, and then later infuse those marks with computation if desired. Collectively, these techniques use interleave pen and touch interactions to support an active reading and writing experience that is geared towards creative work, rather than linear consumption of information. The techniques enable a virtuous cycle of browsing, collecting, and aggregating notations and pieces of encountered content to support the informal organization of information. We believe such tools and techniques can help bring about a more human way of working with digital documents and files.